In the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We remember St. Pius X, who died actually on the eve of the First World War, broken-hearted that all his attempts at uh, reconciliation and providing peace had failed. His motto over his long reign was uh, restoration of all things in Christ, a sort of restoration. And um, it happens to fit in rather well with the first reading about uh, the great vision of the dry bones gradually knitting together and reforming uh, with new life. Uh, we call to mind uh, with St Pius that we've always got to uh, restore everything in Christ. Things tend to break down uh, and perhaps um, this great time of difficulty uh, with the virus is a time when we can rethink a little bit. Certainly I'm going to be asking in the weeks to come our parish to rethink where do we go from here? What have we learned? So let's restore things in Christ, in our hearts, first of all. I celebrate this Mass for um, Aidan and Veronica Smith, the happy repose of the soul of Aidan and Veronica. We call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled, filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom, an apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Breathe on these. 
dead. Let them live. I prophesied as he had ordered me, and the breath entered them. They came to life again, and stood up on their feet, a great and immense army. Then he said, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They keep saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope has gone, we are as good as dead. So prophesy. Say to them, The Lord says this, I am now going to open your graves. I mean to raise you from your graves, my people, and lead you back to the soil of Israel. And you will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, my people. And I shall put my spirit in you, and you will live. And I shall resettle you on your own soil. And you will know that I, the Lord, have said and done this. It is the Lord who speaks. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be Lord. to God. <coughs> the response. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Oh, oh give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let them say this, the Lord's redeemed, whom he redeemed from the hand of the foe, and gathered from far off lands, from east and west, north and south. Oh, give, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his love has no end. Some wandered in the desert, in the wilderness, finding no way to a city they could dwell in. Hungry they were, and thirsty, their soul was fainting within them. Who oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. And he led them along the right way to reach a city they could dwell in. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does to for men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, he fills the hungry with good things. O oh, give oh, thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may consider the wonders of your Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together, and to disconcert him, one of them put a question. Master, which is the greatest commandment of the Lord? Jesus said, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank Praise you. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Um, our Lord uh, gave the law of love there. <clears throat> but remember, it's love God first. Um, you've got to love God's ways first of all. It's not just some benevolence towards other people. And then, of course, go out, fired with God's love uh, to your neighbour, anybody who comes across you or you come across who is in need particularly or need of support and um, it reminds us of St Pius 
a very good and holy man who lived in utter simplicity in the Vatican for his long reign. He would just go out on Sundays, by the way, to one of the courtyards within the Vatican area and just preach to anybody who would listen. And um, he wanted, as I say, to restore all things. He, he, he restored the liturgy, the canon law, and goodness knows what else in the church. Got everything going properly. So um, perhaps in our reflection time, uh, when we're not quite sure whether we're back in action or not, after the uh, lockdown, if you see it, <laughs> we're sort of feeling our way. <coughs> it's a good time to, um, you know, think of restoration of the future. And um, uh, to, to say, well, look, <clears throat> let's build up. It's not only keeping faith, but pushing it forward. And, uh, you know, I hope that's a good thought for us. We're not staying still spiritually. We call to mind then uh, our need of God's help. First of all, we've got to know the love of God for us before we can return love. So let's pray for a knowledge of God's love so that in thankfulness we can go out to praise him and to help our neighbour. Lord hear us. Lord hear us. We pray for the simplicity and peace and holiness of Pope St. Pius X in our own lives, that we may be living examples of Christ. Lord hear us. Lord hear us. And I pause for a moment and we add our own petitions, and that includes all those who might be listening to this uh, Mass through the broadcast. You are included in this Mass from the Church of Christ the King in Melthorpe. Lord, hear all the prayers of our hearts, all our needs. Grant what is good, you who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. From the Spirit of God, right heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from our sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord will accept that sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our Lord and God, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Receive with kindness our oblation, and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the feast of St Pius you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her small, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a socially distanced peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. May this Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. I join with those who will be taking part in this Mass through the broadcast now and who will be making a spiritual communion. Let us say the prayer of St. Alphonsus for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pause with our Lord now. He comes to us. He says, in all our trials, in all our worries, all will be well. Be close to me. Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Uh, Pius, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this heavenly table we may be made constant in faith and be of one accord in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. And taking a few days uh, away next week so there'll be uh, no public mass uh, and no broadcast mass during the week. The weekend Masses, the Sunday Masses, this weekend and the weekend after, unaffected, but during the week, so no broadcast, no uh, public Masses. The Lord be with you. Amen. Mighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Amen.